Hey, good morning, good morning. It's 4 o'clock a.m. I'm at the gym, LA Fitness. Doesn't open up until 5. Me and my wife had a conversation yesterday, and I told her, I said, it's almost like sometimes you got to write down, you have to write down on the palm of your hand what it is that you're doing. Because life is constantly throwing something at you to the point where you get off course up here and you start having doubt and fear. Whereas if you had just had it, and I wouldn't even say write it down. I'd say probably tattoo it. Tattoo it. That way, when when life starts throwing curveballs at you, you can just look at your hand and you can remember what it said. And you can remember why you started this. See, people are going to fail you left and right. You, you, you can't start your journey unless you start to grasp that concept and the thing is it's going to be the people closest to you and it may even be your parents it may be your brothers and sisters it may even be your grandparents just depending on how strong that that uh, tribal belief is and how far it goes back and when I speak about tribal beliefs I mean, great-great-grandma always said money was the root to all evil, so everybody else ran with money is the root to all evil. But they didn't say what would happen if you didn't have it. See, they didn't tell the rest of the story that the crime rate went up every time that the, the uh, unemployment rate went down or up. They didn't tell you about that. But that's okay. See, here's my biggest here's my biggest beef with anybody. There, there's gonna be a time when you need to make a decision for what it is that you're gonna do. Soliciting me on what I think you should do, or soliciting anybody else on what it is that God has put into your heart that you should do. Just think about that. As unique as an individual that I am, who am I going to run across that's going to tell me what, or, or give me better direction than what's already in my heart? Nobody. Now, there's blueprints and there's game plans that other people have, have uh, uh, followed on the route to get into where you're trying to be at, and those are definitely great uh, models to follow. But... There's nothing going to speak to you louder and be more convincing and be more honest with you than what's inside of your heart. In spite of the people that's going to turn their back. In spite of the people who are going to say it's not going to happen. In spite of the people who are not going to lift you up and not going to help you and not going to going to see your dream to fruition or see it where it's got to go. There's going to be some people that's even going to die along the way. Who cares? Who cares? Who Listen, listen, let me be very clear. I don't care what you think about my life. I don't care what you think about what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. I don't care what it is that you think I can or cannot do. Matter of fact, I don't even care what you think your opinion of how I run things is. You take that however you want. I don't care. Because there's this voice inside of me and I'm getting clearer and clearer every single day about listening to it. If it says go left, I don't question it. I go left. I don't stop to smell the roses. I don't stop to ask people questions and say, hey, is this the right way I should go? Because I know that something special has been put inside of me, just like something special has been put inside of you. I hear left and right people want to lose weight. Great. Great. And then five seconds later, how can I lose it fast? Ah, you lost me. You lost me. You lost me. I don't do fast food here. I don't do fast. I do steady. And I do routine. And I do consistent. And I do it forever. And I keep doing it until it becomes a way of life.
until it becomes a way of life is how you gotta think Stop soliciting advice from everybody. Everything you need is right inside of you. It's right inside of you. And it's talking to you. You asking advice from everybody else because what's inside of you is telling you what to do. And you don't want to listen to it. You praying to God somebody else will give you an easier way. Girl, you just need to wrap this thing around your ass and you'll lose 20 pounds when you wake up in the morning. That's water weight. You still got a bad eating habit. See, what your, what your inside voice is telling you is you need to stop eating all that bullshit. Nah, that ain't, that ain't the way. That, nah, mm -mm. I'm just big bone. I remember Les Brown saying, I ain't never seen a fat skeleton. Think about it. Think about it. Next time you get ready to solicit the advice of somebody else, ask yourself, has something inside of you already told you what you should be doing? Has that voice already spoken to you and already told you what you should be doing? And did you just say, hey, that's too fucking hard. I don't want to do it. Just ask yourself because you would have found out that the answer has been with you the whole time. But you're looking for somebody else to give you the wonder pill. It's not there. It doesn't exist. People start turning to drugs, hoping that it'll get them off of food. You can't care what anybody thinks. Because at the end of the day, this is your journey. At the end of the day, this is your life. And as short as it is, don't spend 75% of it running around asking people what to do and then come up the other 15% so damn confused that you don't know what to do. I stopped asking people's advice a long time ago. I stopped asking people advice. Now, I get, I'll get suggestions. I'll take a poll. But at the end of the day, that's still my... It's, listen... I was already committed to what I was going to do. I was just going to see if you was going to fall in line with. Because if I get enough people saying I'm doing the wrong thing, chances are I'm going to do that. That's the bottom line. That's the skinny. I didn't ask nobody's permission when it was time for me to lose weight. Something inside me said, nigga, you need to get up and go. Stop being fat and sorry. Stop eating everything. I want my business to start going. Stop acting like you're too damn important to help your clients out. Ain't nothing easy. Ain't nothing simple. And all those friends and family members that think it's easy and simple, they, they can get their ass on too. Go. Bye. Because you have a commitment. You have a commitment to yourself and you have a commitment to God because if you want him to give you what's in his hand, you need to give up them little crumbs that's in yours and that's them bad habits. That's them bad thinking. That's the way you act in. Give it up or keep putting up, keep putting up. That ain't going to be me. That ain't going to be G. That ain't me at all. May y'all have a peaceful day, a blessed day. And just know that everything you have and everything you need is inside of you. Treat this world as if you're alone. And if you run across another person who might somewhat be able to share some of your commonalities, just say thank you and God bless. But don't expect a whole lot out of them. And if they want to give you something, let them give it to you. Because you should never, ever turn away somebody from being able to get their blessing by helping or doing something for you. And just say thank you. And then say thank God that that person was delivered into your life to do something. But get your mind right. All right? Stay blessed. Peace.